everyone. So we are back in our R Studio environment, and today we're going to talk about how to build genetic algorithms. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set our working directory as normal. We're then going to pull in this Gen L package, and again, if it's not, if you don't have it, R Studio will normally just say, "Do you want to install it?" You can just click yes, or you can go through all the different install packages. Um, so one of the things, as we talk about, you have to do for genetic algorithms to find a fitness function. So I defined the max one function that we talked about before, and I'll, I'll go through a little bit of what this does, but essentially what it does is it says, you're gonna get a function as an input, which is gonna be a set of characters, right? Um, you're going to take the length of those characters, right? You're gonna set this variable i to one, right? And the score to zero. And then while i is less than the string length, right? Which was what we got from here. We're just gonna go through each one. And if, if that character is a one, then we're gonna increase the score by one and we're gonna increase i by one as well, right? So eventually we're gonna count the number of characters or number of numbers, sorry, it's actually converting it to numbers, not characters, uh, that are one, right, in this in this array, right? Um, if the result is going to be equal to one minus that score divided by string length. So if that score, if the string length is 10, and you have five ones, right? It's gonna be one minus five tenths or one half. So that's the result. So one other thing sometimes you wanna do with genetic algorithms, which is divide, develop a, what's called a monitoring function. And this is just something that as, cause genetic algorithms run for a while, it just kind of gives you some updates as to what's going on. So um, this is basically saying, I wanna get the minimum value of all of the evaluations that have happened. In other words, of all the different runs of my genetic algorithm, I want to get the minimum value, which is, in this case, minimum is good because it means it's closer to zero, which um, is the way this function is computed, right? So if you look at this result, right, if I have nine um, ones out of 10, I'm going to get a 0.1. If I have one one out of 10, I'm going to get a 0.9, right? And a lot of GAs are written to minimize a fitness function. And so that's just the way this one's stylized. Um, and so, um, and this I object equals iter, so you don't actually even need, that just tells how many iterations it has, but then it's going to print the appendix, uh, sorry, print um, and append onto it, <laughs> this value of the best fitness equals whatever it is, right? So then we need to run our GA. We're gonna run a GA using a binary genome, right? Which is a standard. The size of the uh, genome is 50, meaning the string is 50 characters. The population size is 400. We're gonna iterate for 200 generations. Our evaluation fitness function, our evaluation function is that max ones function we just defined. And our monitor function is that update function that we just defined as well. So if we run that, right, we get this, you see that monitor function printing out the results and it quickly finds an example where all 50 of elements of the genome are one, in which case it's, it, you know, it's already found the best. So if we plot the results of that, right, what you get on these graphs is you get the fitness function for the best and the mean individual over time. Because you can remember, it's a population of individuals. So I can show you what the best individual in the, gene, in the, in the population is doing, and I can also show you what the average individual and as you can see, they track pretty close to each other with the best line always being uh, below the mean. So I'm gonna pause there because in the next set, we're gonna take that, go back to that all state data set that we talked about at one point, and we're gonna build a more complex genome for that all state data set and uh, kind of look to see what that did. So um, we'll stop here for now.